Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA just led us on EAFC24 already. We've been looking at ratings, building starter squads, noticing overpowered cards, and all the while wondering how much are some of these cards going to cost? And that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. We're going to be doing some early price predictions for a lot of favorite cards at the start of FC24. Cards that you maybe want to get in your starter squad or maybe want to save some coins for and try to get in your team later on in the first couple of weeks in this game. We're going to talk about prices in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Now, as we take a look at a lot of these prices today, we're going to be using Footbin, we're going to be using a lot of different websites and of course the EA website side as well but we of course know that prices are always changing right if we go back to last year's Lionel Messi card a lot of cards as we know don't stand the test of time in terms of gold cards and we're going to talk a lot about gold today right because that's what people can afford and really start to put in their teams at the beginning of the game these predictions should serve as a good average for the first two to three weeks of the game guys we know that prices fluctuate a lot all the time as you can see Messi last year started at 100k went to 300k and then a month later Later, he was 70k so these prices are going to be for the early on stages as we get on fc24 for the first time if you're saving for a card or if you're wanting to know how much a starter team player will be this video is for you today so let's start off the top by just getting into a bunch of prices and while we do this We'll talk about the market a little bit as well. First of all, Valverde, one of the biggest upgraded cards from last year to this year, going up four overalls in rating. I went to his Inform card from last year because if we think about it, this card was in Team of the Week 1. It was almost like this is the Valverde that we started with at the beginning of FIFA 23. And how much was this card back at the beginning of the game? 140,000 coins rising all the way to 200k at his peak is where this Inform Valverde was at. But with the big upgrade that this Valverde is even over that inform card especially with Real Madrid links and a higher rating guys I think this Valverde this year being a holy gang is going to end up being 250 300,000 coins and more expensive than his inform was last year I mean his inform was up that much and that's a team of the week one inform that is very rare guys I think this card is going to be 250k maybe even a little more than that because it's one of the best midfielders in the game now we're going to look through a lot of prices we're going to try to keep it rapid fire keep it going pretty fast Messi Obviously, a little bit of a downgrade from last year, going from a 91 to a 90. And of course, now being in the MLS, he has a lot worse links for most people. PSG links versus Inter Miami, probably not going to be as hyped. A lot of people still want to use him, though, because he has that striker and center forward position change and some really good play styles on his card. And of course, it's Messi, right? He's going to have some hype just because of that. Now, like we looked at, Messi last year was 300,000 coins. This year, guys, Messi just can't be that expensive. He is going to be cheaper this year, in my opinion. And it's got to be because of the links. But I don't think he's going to be that cheap. I'm saying Messi's around 200, 250,000 coins. Just a slight haircut in price from where Messi was last year. And it's really because of the links. But in reality, I think a lot of the top tier market's going to end up being a bit more expensive this year. And we'll talk about why a little bit later in the video. Now, another Real Madrid player, another midfielder. Maybe you want Jude and Valverde in your midfield. Both of those guys are going to cost you a pretty penny. Jude last year was actually really cheap. If you take a look at his inform price, he was like 30,000 coins in October. And his gold card was about 30,000 coins as well in the first couple weeks of the game. 20, 30K. And then he dropped off crazy in value. But moving to Madrid is everything for this Jude Bellingham card. He's going to be very overpowered in game. Even though his stats don't look that insane. He's going to be a card that a lot of people want to get. I'm saying 100 to 150,000 coins for Jude Bellingham. He just got a lot more hype as well. He's been playing really well in real life. And of course, the Real Madrid links. Now, as we look through a few more cards, I want to know down in the comments, who do you guys want to see? Shout some players, shout some cards you want to see, because we'll look at a lot of different players throughout this video, but we'll probably do a second video as well, where we look at specifically the players you guys comment down below. That'll be more of your requests in that video. Now, let's turn the corner here and do a couple cheaper cards, starter team players that maybe you want to get in your squad in that first week or so. Alan St. Maximin, an interesting one here because he obviously has moved to the Saudi league, but he's still got the five-star skills, four-star weak foot. He's got the trickster plus play style, quick step, technical, and flair. He's going to be a card that a lot of people want to get, even though he's Saudi league this year. Last year, Alan St. Maximin's card was one of the best starter left mids in the Prem, and he hit prices upwards of 40,000 coins 
in that first week before dropping off a lot. I would have to say that this year for Alan St. Maximin, I'm looking at a price of somewhere around 25,000 coins. Even though he's still five star skills and four star weak foot, he still looks cracked. It's just he's not in the Premier League anymore, guys. And I think his price is going to drop off just as fast as it did last year. And you see in this graph, he's going to drop off a lot in a short amount of time. Now, moving down the list, we've got another starter team beast, Mickey Vandeven from my Tottenham Hotspur Club, 85 pace, 70 on the defense, and 80 physical. Now, obviously, his card last year is not a good comparison for this year's card, but I can just tell you right off the bat how this card's price is going to go. He's going to be expensive in the first week, and he is going to drop off in price incredible amounts. In my opinion, this Van Event card, probably 20k. But again, guys, just like that ASM graph we looked at, it's not going to last long. One reason I always tell people to be careful when buying cards for their starter teams is these prices, they just get destroyed, as we saw with the ASM. And as you basically look at every single gold card graph, there's more promos than ever in FIFA now. So we get, or sorry, EAFC now, right? We're going to say that a lot of times this year. But uh, there's more promo cards than ever. People get gold cards out of their club, except for that upper echelon top tier faster than ever. Now, let's take a step back up and talk about a very meta card, one of the best left-wing players in the Premier League, Marcus Rashford. How much is this card going to be, you might ask? Well, Rashford's kind of been on a crazy up and down in the past few Ultimate Teams. He was 81 rated last year in FIFA 23, but he was 85 rated in FIFA 22. And if you guys remember, I think it was FIFA 21, where he had these inform cards, and he was so insane. His card went up so much in those first couple of weeks. And in FIFA 22, his, start, his card started off really expensive. He was all the way up to about 174,000 coins. Now, after being 81 rated last year, he's back to 85, five-star skills, 90 pace, a big-time upgrade. And also, he's one of the only cards with the playstyle plus power shot on his base item. That's going to give him another sort of rarity that could make him a little bit more expensive. I'm going with 150 to 100, and maybe 75,000 coins in those first couple of weeks. Now, again, guys, you're like, wait, Nate, I thought you said cards were going to be a bit more expensive. That's the same that he was two years ago. Here's the thing with Rashford. He's only 85 rated, which when a card is 85 rated, that really means they're going to get packed a lot more than, say, somebody who's 91 rated like Erling Holland. And again, we're talking about prices potentially being a little bit more expensive this year, guys. And the reason I think that might be the case is we have got so many new um, women's players added into the game. We have so many players in general in packs this year. And of course, not all those players are super crazy meta. I just think that it's going to end up making the top tier upper echelon of players, maybe some heroes, maybe some icons. And of course, at the start of the game, guys like uh, Mbappe, guys like Holland, and some of these insane players a little bit more expensive because it's really going to separate. They're going to be more separated from what's not meta and what is meta. And if there's more cards in packs too, that could mean higher quick sell values and just more coins that people are making back from opening packs, which could inflate the market on that top tier. Again, new market this year with all the players that are coming in. It's a combined market again. It's going to be a whole whirlwind of craziness on this market as it always is. And we're going to be figuring it out as we go, of course. But that's just kind of my preeminent take right now on some of these top tier cards. And I've got a similar valuation on Erling Holland higher in price than last year. Now, everybody remembers Erling Holland last year, right? For his crazy rise to the meta being very lengthy focused in those first couple of weeks. Erling Holland was 30K on the web app and went all the way to 400,000 coins at his peak price around that like second, third week of the game, maybe right around that first weekend league. And then of course he dropped off crazy amounts after that. But that was a crazy rise for this Erling Holland card. Now guys, this year Erling Holland's 91 rated. People know how overpowered he is. He's got some crazy play styles as well. Acrobatic, quick, quick step, power header. It's really gonna depend on the lengthy meta. Is lengthy going to be very usable? Is heading going to be overpowered? Or is his acrobatic trait, like in real life, going to make him super overpowered in the game? I still think he's the best prime striker in the game, so he's going to be expensive because of that, and it's Erling Holland, Guys, I think he might hit a new all-time high price for his gold card in Ultimate Team this year. I'm saying 500,000 coins for the gold Holland card this year in this game. I think it's very possible, and uh, I think he's going to be meta. I just can't see a game 
that EA is going to make where this guy is not super meta, especially at the beginning of the game with these kind of stats that he's got. And he's 91 rated, so he's more rare. So that's kind of what I'm thinking there. Now, this is where it gets interesting, right? And as we just mentioned, a lot of these women's players coming into the game, we've got more players than ever in the ultimate team. And this right here, in my opinion, is the basically behind Mbappe, the second best card that's a gold in the game. No icons, no heroes considered. This is the second best gold card in the game, guys. Five star, five star, Puteus. And how do we even compare this to like how much will we even guess to think how much this card will be on the market, right? Well, we have to think through a few things. We've got the Barcelona links. So if you link Puteus to, you know, I almost said Usman Dembele. He's not at uh, Barcelona anymore. But if you link Puteas to, like, let's say Lewandowski, both Barcelona players, even though one plays for the women's team and one plays for the men's team, they get chemistry. And that's going to help a lot of these big club players that play on the women's side of the club. This Puteas card with the play styles that she has, which is a ton of them, and the 5-star, five 5-star, five and the stats that she has, the only really comparable card that I can think of with the Barca links and everything else would be, like, old Messi cards, guys. Um, and old Messi cards were you know almost a million coins i know the markets back then were different every year is different on the market but for a 91 rated card i can't imagine that there is only going to be one gold card in Bappe over a million coins uh, i think this puteas card might be or will be one to 1.1 million coins in the first couple of weeks just because of the rarity because of the links and because of five foot eight with those stats is like high medium work rates it's insane man that is a disgusting card gonna be so so good in game as a center attack admit so that's where i'm thinking for the puteas card now a couple other women's players davinia another five star five star really insane looking card definitely gonna be a bit cheaper here i went back and forth on this one guys i was thinking this could this card could be 500k this card could be like 250k it all comes down to how much people are going to use the nwsl in my opinion because Brazil links, yeah, pretty solid. NWSL links, there's only a handful of players that are really that meta. I still think, though, this card's probably going to be around three to 400,000 coins just because of the 5-5 five five and Brazilian. Now, one more women's player that I want to look at right here because this one, like I said before, has the club links that will matter. Imagine putting Sam Kerr in your team with Nkunku, right? That is a link. They would both get chemistry to each other because of the Chelsea links. Everybody used this card or they gave out one of these cards, I think, from what I heard, rumors of the beta, um, and people were using Sam Kerr a lot. And they were saying that she is very good with the finesse shot. I think she has finesse shot. Um, she does. Playstyle, finesse shot, rapid, quick step, and then, of course, power header. So an all-around good striker with technically Premier League links with the club. So I think that Sam Kerr card is also going to be pretty expensive, 400,000 coins, because she's 90 rated as well, guys. And again, that just means rarity for sure. Now, I had to throw this one in for fun. How much is this Oshawala card going to be? Because everybody's talking about this striker right here with 90 finishing 91 pace 90 like the bad stat it's composure okay that's the letdown 92 strength as well what okay that that's crazy man I, I mean i have to say 85 rated card i definitely think she is going to get packed a good amount more than other ones like sam kerr but that's this card's going to have so much hype i could see 150 to 200 thousand coins which would honestly be comparable to the range of Marcus Rashford in terms of price, but those stats are crazy. It's all going to come down to how these players play in game, but those stats look absolutely crazy. So like, what else can you say? Now, we look at a lot of prices, but what I want to do now is do a rapid fire. We're going to look through a bunch of different cards in a short amount of time, maybe like five to 10 or something like that, and just roll off some prices really fast because I want to look through a lot of cards for you guys because I know a lot of cards you have questions about. Cristiano Ronaldo, big downgrade, right? Um, his card last year wasn't even that expensive compared to Ronaldo cards that always used to be like a million, 1.5, 2 million coins, even back when he was on Juve. This card for me this year is probably going to be around the same price as Messi, two, 250,000 coins, and it's probably just because it's Ronaldo, right? Saudi League links, yeah, they're okay. Um, and that's really all that this, but he does have the power shot playstyle plus. So, and it's Ronaldo with the five star skills and the four star weak foot. So he's got that going for him. I'm saying 200K for Ronaldo um, and 86 rated fodder Ronaldo. I mean, man, we're going to have some of these cards hitting fodder prices so fast. It's going to be ridiculous. But 91 rated Kylian Mbappe, guys, I got a prediction here. Gold card, only one. It's going to be over 2 million coins. I'm saying 2 to 2.2 .2 mil for Mbappe in that first 
two weeks window because with the way this card got upgraded, 78 physical, which is only a plus two, but once again, I'll highlight it, plus 11 jumping from his card last year. He's got 90 shooting now. He's five-star, four-star. He's got the quick step play style plus. He's going to be so fast because he also has the rapid play style as well. And Travella, this card's going to be the most broken card in the game once again, 100%, and I'm saying over 2 mil. Last year, he was about 1.7. I'm saying 2 to 2.2 mil in the first couple of weekends. Uh, now, again, this is a card that might have a little bit longer of a rise on the market. His price may take a couple weeks to reach its max. Like here with Mbappe last year, it did hit a 1.7 mil max in that first weekend, but then he was back up to about 1.5 before he just slowly tailed off for the rest of the game as it kind of always goes. So Mbappe, two mil though for me this year. Let's move on. Musa Diaby, maybe a card a lot of you guys are eyeing for a starter card. I'm looking at Diaby to be one of the best middle tier Prem right wings. I'm saying about 75 to 85,000 coins for this card. He's just going to be flat out pace. And he's a step above some of those other like starter wing players. So that's what I'm going to say about 75k for him. Also a transfer. Now moving on again, Soboslai, another starter, like a true starter team player. I think this card's going to be a really good budget player. I'm saying 20,000 coins. He has got a four star, four star. He's medium, medium, which isn't the best. And his balance isn't that good. But for an 82 rated, and he's probably going to be 20K for like the first week or two and then drop off to like 10,000 coins. He's got a ton of play styles, guys, which I think will benefit him a lot. He's got really solid stats around the rest of his card. I'm saying 15 to 20K for Silvaslai, which is a W. Koldo Mani, the Bundesliga striker that is in the middle budget that a lot of people are going to want to get. Kind of compare Koldo Mani to what Timo Werner used to be, right? Timo Werner was always like the one pacey striker that was in the Bundesliga. I know Timo Werner's back in the Bundesliga now, but I think this Kolomani card is going to be 50k because of the French links and because um, he just looks really cracked. How much is, uh, what's Werner look like? 91 pace, 80 shooting. So definitely Kolomani is better and Werner's three-star skills, four-star weak foot, Kolomani is four, four. So I think that gives the edge to Kolo for sure. Maybe we'll bump that price up for him just a little bit as a French striker. Let's say like 60k for Kolomani, somewhere right around that range, but that obviously won't last for too long. Now, here's an interesting one. Robert Lewandowski, he is actually, after a two assist, one goal performance, he is on a short list to be in Team of the Week 1. And this is where we have questions once again. How much will Gold Lewandowski be? Well, last year, um, he did have a ones to watch card, which definitely messed with his price for his gold card a little bit. It made him a bit extra rare, but he wasn't that expensive. He's like 40,000 coins in the first month of the game. This year, I think it all comes down to the meta. He's mostly lengthy again, like he was last year. Um, if he's got an inform though, this gold card may be in packs. It might not be. That's going to be one of the craziest things we're going to have to figure out. But I will say this 100%. If we have an inform Lewandowski that is in packs to start the year, like let's say it's something like this, Lewandowski, let's say he's 92 rated this year as well, gets a plus one or a plus two. That's going to be a card that you will want to keep your eye on in the early stages as a team of the week one investment with the Barca Lynx. That'll be a card that could be very good. If the lengthy meta is still somewhat there or if this is a usable card, which I'm sure it's going to be in the early game, watch out for a Lewandowski inform because that could be a cracked investment there. But I'm saying for an inform Lewa, Mm, I don't even know, maybe like 200,000 coins, 250, and then maybe rising just because Team of Week 1 is always rare to like three to 4,000 coins. That sort of thing could happen. So that's all the prices we're going to look at today, guys. Of course, there are so many players, starter team players, women's players added in, players like Gavardio. How much is Gavardio going to be? To me, 10, 15K in that first week, and then he's going to drop off and be fodder, that sort of thing. If you want me to look over any specific players in another video, drop them down below. But I do want to say really quick, we have a little bit more news. All right, we have a little bit more news. Foot Sheriff is starting to tweet out evolutions, guys. Um, and this is just to really keep you guys up to date with what's going on. As we move into FC24, he is saying that we are going to be getting some news for evolutions today on Sunday. So watch out for that. But he's mentioning that evolutions are going to be kind of have like two different sections. You can do a paid one that probably gets you a bigger upgrade. Like it shows here an 85 rated Luis Muriel if you pay 50K. And then another one that it's free that you can just grind through the objectives. And then it's an 83 rated, which I mean, why did I not think... I not think about this before. Why am I not surprised by this? Uh, that was my response to this tweet when I first saw it. Like, man, th th if this is how they're going to keep evolu evolutions behind like a paywall with FIFA points and coins, like, 
that's a bit disappointing. At least you have an option to grind it without having to spend coins. But that was one of the exciting things about Evolutions was just play to upgrade. And now there's a kind of a level up aspect to it where you had to like buy the card to then play the games to upgrade it, right? That's almost what it feels like here where you're paying coins or FIFA points to get yourself a bigger upgrade. I don't know. I don't like that. So look for more news on that today. Looks like he's going to be tweeting out some more leaks. And then also a couple of these card designs we already knew. But my goodness, that team of the year nominee car design, that is different and that is insane. I really like that car design. Premier League player of the month, Bundesliga, those look dope as well. Very simplistic, uh, but also not changed from previous years. League One looks solid. Uh, Serie A looks okay. La Liga actually had the biggest change from last year. If you look up La Liga's card from FIFA 23, that looks a lot different. And then this objective card is another one that is very very simple. We've seen the flashback already. That is on the um, pitch notes that EA updated. But that team of the year nominee card for me was like, what? That's there's not there's no gold in there, man. Usually team of the year is like gold and stuff. So I don't know. That still looks crazy, but that is a little bit different from in previous years. So guys, one day closer to getting on FC24. I'm excited. Let me know down in the comments what cards you want me to look at, and I will see you guys in another video tomorrow. It's been Nathan Foot Account and catch you guys later. Peace.